All right, guys, let's take a look at this nuke, the one that we, uh, well, it's not a nuke, this swarm that we captured. This is an update to the last video I posted. Uh, we're going to see if we can find the queen real quick, um, if she's in there. And, uh, and if she is, we'll get her marked um, and we'll grab some uh, frames of brood from another hive and put in it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Get this pollen patty taken off. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Empty frame. Yep. I didn't have time to put the um, brood frames in here the other day when I brought it back to the house. Oh, there's the queen right there. So we do have a queen, not many bees, but we're gonna go ahead and put her back in so she's safe. Uh, and I'll show her to you again real quick. There she is right there. Nice fat queen. Let's put her in here so we keep her safe. I'm gonna get her marked. All right, we're going to use a one-handed queen catcher. I love these things because you can operate it with one hand. Um, easy to catch, and it doubles as a marking tube. So, so let's get her out. We're going to get her marked, let her dry really well while we look for some brood to put in here. See her? Wait. Just gonna get her captured. Wait, her, wait for her to climb up on that wall because I don't want to hurt her. There we go. All right, so we've got our queen. I might have to put this down to mark her, but I'll try to point it this way for you guys. Get my marking pen out. We're going with blue this year. So what I'm gonna do is just push the plunger up a bit until we've got her trapped. right there and just going to give her a little dot of blue there we go now we're going to let her loose and we're going to sit her up here with her daughters all right so let me show you what we got here we've got a queen she's been marked now with these um, with these Posca pins, I love these things, but they do take several minutes to dry. Um, and we don't want to put her in there with the paint wet. We're just going to put a frame over her to keep the sun off of her. Like so, and let that paint dry. And we're going to go grab some brood from another hive. Let's go get that done. All right, so we need to pick a hive then we can that we can get bees from and those right there are busting with bees but i'm gonna go over here and do one of these hives but anyway the reason we're gonna get what we need out of one of those hives over there even though those that i just showed you probably have a better population of bees is because i know that one of those brood boxes over there is uh is honey bound or at least nectar bound right now 
I saw it yesterday and I hadn't had a chance to fix it yet. So I need to get in there and do that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that'll give me a chance to, to correct that problem by getting out those, uh, those nectar frames while I'm in there out of that deep and putting in some, uh, we'll checkerboard in some, some, uh, some frames and make sure that there's, I, well, I already know there's room in that honey super for them to move up into. Uh, but we definitely need to clear out that honey bound box. So let's get that done. All right. This is the hive I'm going to take the brood from. Um, that's just a guardian beehive entrance. I don't know if you guys have seen those before, but it's a freaking miracle to keep small hive beetles out of your hives. I'm a little concerned that this one's going to swarm soon because, because it's honey bound in that second box which we don't want plenty of pollen coming in. All right, bear with me while I get this done. I've got them a bunch of frames here and those just have a new foundation in them. I don't expect much to be up here in this honey super. Well, it looks like they're drawing it out. There wasn't any drawn out last time the other day when I looked. see how they're doing oh oh well they have been busy the last couple of days look at that plenty of bees moved up into the super we've got them drawing honey out here so let's take a look in this box puff or two of smoke to get them to start moving down put the bees there so they can figure out how to get back in this down so I got something to put my box on now this hive I had checked on March 21st and I know that because I put a blue dot that means it was queen right for me and your system may vary um, but and the date so 321 this this colony was queen right so we're going to take a look in it and see if we've got some brood combs we can take from them i'm gonna have to put this down for a second maybe i can put it right here for you guys Just to be sure, we don't know where the queen's at, so I'm gonna look for her real quick. She is not on this frame. So we're gonna just put it down over here. I'm not gonna tear every frame out of this box because what I'm trying to do is just find some brood comb. So I'm just gonna move it over till I find some. And just do a real quick general inspection. Yeah, that's heavy, that feels like honey, or at least some honey. Now, that's full of brood uncapped brood larva everywhere in there looking for our queen
do not see the queen on this frame. All right, there is a ton of drone comb, nectar, and sealed brood on this frame. It looks like what they've done is they've started, because this one was, was pretty nectar bound. It looks like what they've done is they've started moving that nectar up into the honey super, which is good. That's what we want them to do. Still don't see the queen. This would be a good frame for them though, as long as the queen's not on it. Because there's sealed brood. We got nectar. I don't really want the drone comb in there. No queen on this frame. Okay, that is a nice brood pattern there with the, well, everything that's uh, not capped brood right there is larva and just a hair little bit of nectar. So I think that's what these girls have been doing is just moving that, that nectar up to that third box or up to the honey super. And I don't see a queen here either. And that is a pretty nice frame of brood right there. I want to get rid of some of these bees. Yeah, there's no queen on that. So that's gonna be one of our brood combs. It's got some pollen in it, it's got some nectar in it. It's got some honey in it. It's got a bunch of capped brood. Slightest idea where this queen is. I don't want to get her, so I don't. She's she's. There's another beautiful frame of brood. I ain't quite got it all the way drawn out yet. No queen on this one. That's the one I'm gonna take for my for my second brood comb. It's got some honey on it. It's got mostly sealed brood. It's a beautiful looking frame and no queen. Look what I found. See her marked blue right there? Let me see if we can get her in the light. There you go. Beautiful queen doing good work. So I'm happy. We're going to put it back together. Let's take our brood frames that we got for our other hive and move them over there. Sorry guys, I needed two hands. So, headed over here now, put this other frame of brood in there and hopefully they'll be emerging really soon. I'm just evening up the frame so they don't build wonky comb on me. 
All right, so what we've got is a marked queen. We've got a feeder. Right here. And then we'll lock it back up. Now that, that uh, brood comb, those, that brood is gonna emerge pretty shortly um and uh boost their population a bit but i think i've done everything i can i think we've done everything we can for this hive and uh and given them the best chance i think i probably will go over there and grab some nurse bees as well um I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I should do it right now, but um, all the field bees from that hive are out in the field right now. And as they come back, they should have enough to keep them warm. And it's, it's actually pretty darn hot here today. Um, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, if not, and we end up with chill brood, then I will take another frame out of another hive. But they're, it's timing that's important guys right so the best time to take brood out is in the morning um, because you know that the bees that are on that brood comb are nurse bees because all the field bees are gone but it's late in the afternoon um, and i don't know how many of those bees on those frames are nurse bees the the population ratio right now and i don't want to put a bunch of uh older bees in this hive and and have them just fight with the bees that are in there or kill the queen or or anything else so i i think you know i'm not gonna put a lot of time into this hive it is what it is and hopefully uh hold on let me get out of this thing i'm sweating um hopefully this will do it and that hive will be good we'll see guys let me know what you think post your comments down below y'all be careful right now with the covid and everything going around i think it's just a bad flu but that's me um and it's not worth ruining our country over but uh, i don't make the decisions maybe rightfully so or or <laughs> you know maybe that's for the benefit of everyone but everyone's entitled to an opinion that's mine i support yours even if it doesn't agree with me uh, because that's what our rights are about is freedom of speech, being able to say what you want and what you think and, 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 uh, and, and also giving everyone else the opportunity to do exactly that, you know? So anyway, we appreciate it. My family appreciates you guys stopping by. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you in the next video.